Welcome everyone to Peace Halifax 2020. This is the fifth anniversary of Peace Halifax, which is offered to the city of Halifax as a gift of peace. On this day, which is in honor of United Nations International Day of Peace, celebrated on the 21st of September and today in Halifax on the 19th because it's a Saturday and we can get together and share the message of peace, be peaceful together, remember how much peace actually means to us at a personal level as well as a global level. There are many ways to create peace and to experience peace and one of the ways is how we move our bodies. The ancient traditions from India have brought yoga to the West and today we will have a, a one-hour class with Halifax's probably most experienced uh, Hatha yoga teacher. Her name is Jodi Myers. Many of you know her and love her. She's been teaching yoga in Halifax uh, for years and years and years. And she's certified in so many different types of, of yoga, Kripalu, Amrit yoga, laughter yoga, yoga nidra for children, uh, chair yoga, uh, seniors yoga, so many different things. She just keeps learning and growing professionally, personally, and spiritually all the time. So a very warm welcome to Jody, who also created the Atlantic Yoga Teacher Training. So I think many of Atlantic Canada's yoga teachers actually may have experienced Jody as their teacher. So thank you for coming today, Jody, and offering yourself, offering your wisdom, and offering your knowledge to help us experience peace in motion. Thank you, Judy. We appreciate that. Namaste, everybody. And welcome to Peace Halifax. Um, peace is um, really a, a matter of the managing our energy, at, at least according to the, um, the yoga practices. Um, managing our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual energies. So a practice such as movement meditation um, allows you to really uh, move from, from the thinking and doing mode, which we're involved in constantly, through to a feeling and being mode. So in that process, we do connect to all of the parts of ourselves, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. So this is a simple practice today, and um, because I don't know my audience, there's some people that I would never have worked with before, this is a practice that I would offer for um, people who are new to yoga or people who are looking for um, a meditative experience. So that's basically how we'll, we'll move along today. So we'll move through four phases, uh, a centering, then a nice lengthy warm-up, a developmental joint warm-up, and then we'll do a, a, a classic simple yoga flow and we'll complete the experience with a relaxation, a guided relaxation meditation. So without any further ado, let's simply close our eyes. And when you're, you settle down, when you uh, settle inside yourself, begin to notice how you're feeling physically. Just where are you this morning as far as your physical body? Are you full of energy? Are you feeling a little lethargy? Are you just, you know, not really sure how you're feeling today? But simply notice the sensations uh, that you're feeling in your body, anywhere that you, you happen to notice. And then gradually bring your awareness to your breath and we're not going to change anything right now we're simply going to notice the flow of the breath preferably breathing in through your nostrils if you're able to and simply watch the flow of the breath as it enters and as it exits right now you can feel the breath simply flowing in at the tip of your nostrils riding over the roof of your nose down into your lungs and then allow the breath to flow back out again, feeling whatever you're able to feel. So we're simply dropping into an observation of our breath. 
Now, ideally, when we breathe, we want to breathe modestly, moderately. And we want to be using our diaphragm. And we want to have a nice exhalation where we linger a little bit at the end of our exhalation. So without changing your breath too much, just notice where you're at with respect to um, breathe, using your diaphragm a little bit. And then as you exhale, letting the exhalation linger just a little bit. Now gradually we're going to deepen our breath. So to deepen your breath, the best way to begin is with a, a full exhalation. So we certainly aren't able to completely empty our lungs, but we can empty as much as possible. And then as you inhale, relax your belly, let it fall forward, then fill your mid chest, then fill your upper chest. And then when you're ready, exhale. And let's do that again. Allow your belly to relax as you begin to inhale. And forget about the belly. Fill the chest, fill the upper chest. Now let's pause a little bit. And then exhale. Take a long time to exhale. And then linger momentarily at the end of your exhalation. And now let's let the breath return to normal again. Simply feeling it flowing in at the tip of your nostrils. And as you breathe in, feel as if you're filling your whole body with light, with energy, your whole body from your head to your toes, filled with light. And as you exhale, you barely want to disturb a feather if the feather was in front of your nose. So you're not increasing your breathing pattern, you're not changing your breathing pattern. Just imagine that as you inhale, you're filling yourself with light. And as you exhale, you're not disturbing a feather in front of you. Next time you inhale, filling your body with light, just press into those sits bones that you're sitting on in your chair and lengthen right up into your crown. And when you're ready to exhale, just soften through the body to keep the crown lifted. And we'll take a couple more breaths, simply observing breath as it enters at the tip of the nostrils. Just a nice soft breath filling you with light. And as you exhale, you don't want to disturb the feather in front of you, pausing very briefly at the end of your exhalation. And allow your eyes to open. And we'll take another deep breath. And just exhale through your nose slowly. Okay, now come forward on your chair. Hopefully you feel a little bit centered now, a little bit grounded in your just being present in your body and present here with the class this morning. So we're forward on the chair. Again, press into those sits bones and reach into the crown. And let's begin to move through our developmental joint warm-up. And we're going to start with our neck. So we'll start with a simple no movement. And it isn't even the full range of motion that you can have. Each time you um, swing your head in, in a direction, just take it a tiny little bit further than you did the last time. And keep that simple breath flowing in and out of the nostrils. And then take it out a little bit until you, you reach your edges here. And then let's come to center and begin the same thing with the yes motion. Just start simply breathing naturally. And you can let your chin drop a little further and your head lift a little higher as you begin to open up the muscles and awaken the muscles that connect to these movements and then dropping your chin to the chest for a moment and just leaving it there and taking a simple breath and then inhale lifting your nose up toward the ceiling keep a little space at the back of your neck 
And then exhale, lower that chin all the way back down again. And let's just wiggle around here a little bit, maybe a little figure eight with the tip of your nose in the air as you wiggle around in your neck muscles a bit this morning. See what tension may be there. And hopefully helping to release it. And then inhale, lift your nose back up toward the ceiling. And if you can, jump your lower jaw forward a little bit and stretch through the front of your neck. And then we'll exhale and lower the chin to the chest. And take a deep breath in. And exhaling again through the nose. And let your breath settle down. And then we'll lower our right ear toward our right shoulder. And keep your left ear lifted up toward the ceiling. And now just do a few little exploratory movements here. We call these micro movements. So the stretch will be on the left side of your neck and you want to keep that stretch lifted now. Um, I'm going to switch really quickly here because you stay where you are. I want to be mirroring you. So you're still on stretching the left side of your neck. So really do some micro movements here, breathing. And now very slowly lower the head forward in the same, uh, the same angle that you have it. Bring the head forward, forward, forward. And then slowly take your time and just roll your chin toward the center of your chest. And then inhale upright. And then let's lower the head in the other direction, lifting the upper ear. And slowly begin to roll the head back and forth here. And explore the movement in the side of your neck. Breathing into it. Just nice, simple, easy breaths, gentle breaths. Feeling the breath, being conscious of your breath, and conscious of the physical experience of stretching through the neck. And then slowly lower that chin forward to the center of the chest. And then inhale your head upright. And let's let go with a big sigh this time. <sighs> let your breath settle back down. Feel it entering at the tip of the nostrils. And now we'll move into shoulder rolling. So let's squeeze those shoulders up and back and down and around. And as we do this, breathe simply and let your head and neck be involved in this motion. So you can breathe in and breathe out whenever you feel like doing this, but really explore those muscles in your neck and your shoulders and between your shoulder blades a little bit as you do this rolling motion. And then one more time, let's just inhale and draw the shoulders up to the ears and just squeeze them for a moment and then release them. And again, settle down into your simple breath. It's amazing how little physical movement it takes to um, change your breath. And also our thoughts change our breath. And taking your time and allow your eyes to open. And let's come down now to our hands and we're going to start in with our fingers, open and closing our fists 10 times. <clears throat> and then touch your finger, each finger to your thumb and just move back and forth. So we're just articulating the fingers here a little bit. And then we'll do a sort of fun movement and uh, Took me a while to learn how to do this. So actually we'll open and close our fists a, a little bit first. So just open those fingers wide and close the fists. And if you're able to squeeze your fists, do so. If you're a little arthritic, you might not want to do that. And keep breathing. You'll notice your body is calling for air. Okay, now let's turn the fists over and we'll try this little movement. I call it the flower. So we're opening one finger at a time as we roll from hand to hand. So just see how you do with this. And it's kind of a fun thing to play around with in yoga class. 
Okay, and I bet you held your breath during that. So let's take a deep breath. Okay, and then just shake the hands over a little bit. And then let's start to roll those wrists. Continue with your uh, basic breathing and circle the wrists in the other direction. And back the first way again. And then let's go back again. And then deviate your wrists each way. So in and out. Okay, and then let's flex and extend our elbows. So just be nice and loose about this. Keep uh, breathing smoothly. And then we're gonna switch it up a little bit. So when your hands go down, turn them over and bring them up this way. So we're supinating and pronating our forearms as we do this. So up and down, feel it. Feel this happening, then switch back again. And then switch, and then switch. And last time, switch. Okay, and then shake those arms out a little bit. Take another deep breath in. And if you can, just exhale through your nose. Okay, now bring your fingertips to your shoulders and let's enlarge this movement a little bit. So bring the elbows toward each other and swing them back and down and around. So start where you're able to start with this. Some of you may like to start right out with little tiny circles out front and then let your circles grow larger and larger or just start wherever you feel comfortable um, with the movement and really work through those shoulders, breathing, squeezing the shoulder blades a little bit when you bring the arms back. Let's reverse that direction. And reverse one more time. And then release your arms and just let your arms do whatever they want to do out here. Take another couple of deep breaths in and out. Breathing in and out through your nose if you're able to. And just play. We can practice a little swimming stroke here. So maybe we're doing the crawl. And maybe we're doing the breast stroke. Just a little bit of free movement out front. Okay, and then come to stillness for a moment and take your Gyana Mudra, so thumb and first finger are connected, and rest your hands on your thighs. Let's close our eyes for a moment and drop inward. Become aware of sensations in your body, particularly in your shoulders and arms and hands, but you'll feel sensations throughout your body. So we drop out of thinking and we uh, and doing right now, and we're down into feeling and being. So simply feel. And when you um, are aware of the sensations here, this is drawing close to your inner being. So really notice, and notice your breath. Okay, now let's bring our hands into prayer position. And we'll do um, a simple, um, a few simple yoga moves here. So press into those palms and draw your wrists down for a moment and receive the next breath. So you're feeling a little stretch through the wrists. And we'll turn the fingers down and we'll draw the wrists up again and take another breath. And then turn the hands back up. And then inhale and raise the hands up. Just look straight ahead right now. Reach up as high as you can. And then exhale and flow the hands back down and around. Breathing in and out through the nose. Inhaling up. Stretch and reach, lengthening the spine. And then exhale, flowing the hands back down. So we're beginning to move through the seven movements of the spine here, inhaling up. So this is lengthening up through the spine and exhaling back down. So let's try that one more time. Inhaling up, so we're feeling this now, really feel it. And as you exhale, feel the airspace all around you as you bring those hands back down. And then just rest them in your Gyana Mudra. Close your eyes for a moment, dive inward and receive your next breath. Notice sensations. 
we may think nothing is happening, but there is so much happening. And when we stop and, and pause for a moment, we're activating our parasympathetic nervous system, which allows us to really drop inward. It really allows us to connect to our inner being. So just taking that one more breath. Okay, so opening your eyes. So let's continue now with our seven movements of the spine. So we're going to sit away from um, one side of the chair. Sit so that you can put a hand down on the chair. So you're still sitting here, but let's drop our right hand on the chair. Take your left hand, inhale it out to the side, turn it, the palm over at your shoulder, and exhale as you reach up in the air, lift out of your waist, and lean over a little bit. Now lengthen up through your whole, out of your whole waist and up through your torso. So we're not only lengthening up through the ribs, but we're also lengthening on the side that we're folding over a little bit. And just do a little bit of exploration here, and then inhale and reach that hand up, and exhale, feel the space as you flow it back down. And then right away again, turn the palm down, inhale up, turn it over, exhale as you come over the top here in this nice curve. Press into the hand that's in the chair, lift up through your upper ribs and do a little bit of exploring through the stretch. Stay lengthened out of your waist, keep breathing. And now turn, if you can, and look up underneath your armpit. And take another breath here. And then just turn and look down toward the floor and let the arm fold around the way it would just come out of this easily. Okay, and we'll shift over to the other side. Sitting bones on the chair. You're away from the back of the chair. Um, left hand on the, the chair and let's begin. Inhale up. Turn the palm over at the shoulder and exhale as you lean over into it. Push into the chair hand, lift up out of your waist and up through your upper ribs and do just some very tiny movements here. Tiny explorations. Take a breath, breathe right into the places that are stretching. Okay, and then reach the hand straight up in the air as if I'm pulling your wrist, lift it up. And exhale, flow back down. Feel the space as you're flowing down. And then again, inhale back up. Exhale as you come over to the side. Push into the floor hand. Lift out of your waist and breathe. Lift up through those upper ribs. Breathe into the parts of your body that are stretching here. Nice deep breath. Okay, then just look toward the floor and let your arm come over naturally. And let's come back and sit into the center of our chair again and take another deep breath. So we stretched up and we've leaned from side to side. So those are the first three movements. Now we're going to twist. So we're going to twist around to the right. So place your left hand on your right thigh. And reach your right hand around and just grab a part of the chair here. Now push into your left foot as you turn to the right and just go about a half of the way you could go and then inhale and come on back to center and then push into the left foot and let's turn right and go a little further into it and then inhale coming back and then exhale push into the foot lift up through your crown as you twist around now and just stay here in a comfortable place and we'll take a full breath in this simple twist. And then when you're ready, inhale, bring yourself back to center and exhale. And then we'll switch the hands around to the other side. Inhale here. And as you exhale, just come into it partially and then inhale back to center. Exhale, come a little further into it. Just simply exploring your movement here. And then exhale, come a little bit deeper into it. So this twist is mainly from the mid um, of the, of the uh, spine upwards into the crown. Keep lifted through your crown. You push through that left foot, or sorry, the right foot to help you here. Okay, and breathe into this. 
And then inhale, slowly making your way back to center. And then take a deep breath. So those were movements four and five, twisting left and right. And now we'll move into movements six and seven. So hands on your thighs and just press your heart forward and breathe in. Leave a little space at the back of your neck. And then exhale, coming back up and just lightly rounding the chest. We're, we're only going about 50% of what we could do. And then inhale, press the heart forward. Reach out with your chin a little bit. And then exhale, round back about 65, 70% forward. And then inhale, come out. Exhale, round. Feel yourself flexing and, ex and extending your spine. Inhaling. Come out there now as far as you feel comfortable. And then exhale, round it over. Just to where you're comfortable, do some little explorations. And then press into your sits bones and lift up through your crown. And let's take a deep breath in and sigh it out. And once again, just allow your eyes to close, allow your jaw to relax, take your Gyana Mudra, thumb and first finger connecting, feel your feet rooted to the, the earth, and allow your attention for a moment to drift up to your third eye, and feel your breath. Breathing simply into your third eye, imagine you're breathing into the third eye. And as you exhale, you're barely disturbing the air around you. And then release that, allow your eyes to open. And now let's move down into the lower body. So um, let's pick up our left knee. And let's begin to circle the, the ankle here. So circling around each way, back and forth, flexing and extending your foot, <clears throat> wiggling your toes, see if you can individually wiggle them. And then deviating your foot left and right. So, and then circle, just play, let your foot do whatever kind of movements it might like to do and keep breathing, that simple, easy breathing. And then let's flex our knee here. Find the movements and the range of movement of your knee. Circle it a little bit. Okay, and we'll place that foot down on the floor and let's move over to the other side. Picking the foot up, flexing and extending, breathing. And circling the ankle each way. See if you're as coordinated with one side as you are with the other. Sometimes we often find we're different in this and then evert and invert your foot and then scrunch, you can scrunch on the other side and stretch and breathe. Okay, and then flex your knee. And then circle and feel what's happening. Feel what's happening in the body as we do this. Okay, and then place your feet together on the floor. Let's just take a breath in. Nice deep breath in and exhale. We'll begin to articulate in through the hip sockets. So this is very small movement right here, but of opening and closing. Okay, and then if that's pretty easy for you, then just open your feet a little wider and let's go a little deeper with this. Now this is certainly not the full range of movement in the hip sockets, but we will um, find that movement throughout our practice. Okay. Right, and just relax out of that. 
Now shift off your um, left sitting bone and let's turn to the right. So the left sitting bone comes off the chair and your right sitting bone is on the chair. So you want to hold on to the chair as you stretch your uh, left leg back. So stretch it back and place your hand on your front thigh and, and slowly press through that back heel. So just find a comfortable stretch here and reach through your heart, find a comfortable stretch here. And let's take a breath into a simple, um, modified, supported warrior posture. So breathe into this. Take your breath right down through your hip flexors and press your heel away. Your weight is supported on your front thigh here, your torso and your arms. Okay, one more breath in. And then slowly release that. And let's make our way around to the other side. Right sitting bone coming off and right leg stretching back. And your hands are on your front thigh. And just do your best to press that back heel back, gradually straightening the back leg out. And you're really supporting yourself on um, pressing into that front foot and your weight is on your hands here. And lift the heart forward. So this is a little bit of a back bend. You can let your gaze drift up to um, the upper part of the wall here. Press through that back heel. Take a nice deep breath in here. Fill your body with prana, with, with energy. Really feel it. Feel as if this next breath is taking the life force to every cell in your body, all the way from your heels to your crown. And then as you exhale, melt your way back out of this. Okay. And then take another breath in and sigh it out. <sighs> and we'll pause once again, relax your jaw, close your eyes. Feel the breath entering at the tip of the nostrils. Become aware that you're present inside your, yourself. You are the presence that's in there. So just become aware of that. Feel the sensations in your physical body. Sensations are what are connecting us between the physical realm and the, the, um, our inner being, our awareness. Okay. And then slowly, let's come forward off of our chairs. We'll use the chair just a little bit more and then we'll put it aside and move into um, some other, other things. So I'm going to set my chair forward here a bit more, place my hands on the chair, and slowly walk my, my legs back. Now bend your knees, bend your knees, your feet are, are mat width apart, and let your chest drop down between your thighs and down between your arms here, and just crawl those arms forward and, and relax into this. You can just keep looking straight at the floor for a moment, and let's take a deep breath. So if you know you want to keep your head level with your heart, then just keep looking at the floor. Otherwise, you can let your head and neck relax, sink into it. And now press into your feet wherever you are, and lift your tailbone and your sits bones up toward the ceiling. Now you're going to be isolating your hamstring muscles at the back of your legs. So just do some little micro movements, play around with this a little bit. Take another breath in. Opening up the body a little bit. Okay, and then just place the hands on the floor. And then place your elbows on your knees. And place your hands on your thighs here and bend the knees and look up and we're going to come up with a nice flat back here. Inhaling up to standing position. Okay. And just stand for a moment. Let your blood pressure adjust. Press through your feet and lift through your crown. And let's take a deep breath and sigh it out. Ah, nice soft jaw. And for a moment, bring your attention to your third eye and let yourself drop in there. Feel your heart beating. Feel the sense of 
life in your body in the form of sensations. And then gradually allow your eyes to open. And we'll remove our chairs from our, our yoga area. Okay, so here we are. And let's just do a little bit of loose shuffling around. Take a deep breath in. And let me hear a loosen up that jaw. <sighs> okay, shake, shake, shake. All right. <clears throat> Let's do a little bit more work with our hips. So hands on the hips and just seesaw a little bit from side to side. Exploring the movement that you have, the range of movement that you have here. And then let's find an angle. So as if you're rocking toward um, the angle on the opposite end of the room. So you're rocking from one angle to the other. Just a different way of articulating our hip sockets. And then back side to side again. Breathing here, simple breathing. And then the other um, corner to corner, we're going on the other side. Off to an angle. And then back side to side. And then let's see now if we can, oh, let's do a little bit of forward and backwards. So just tipping and tilting your pelvis. The position of the pelvis is very important in the yoga practice, um, you want to always, when you're doing yoga postures, have what's known as a neutral pelvis. So here we're just identifying the pelvic area. Okay, and then let's circle the whole thing around. So you may find you need to adjust your foot position to get the best movement of this that you can and try reversing that direction. Try working the other way. Breathing and feeling. This makes it yoga. It's yoga when you're feeling. It's just stretching if you're just doing something without being conscious of, of how it's affecting you, how it's, it's, uh, it's feeling in your body or your, your emotional body or even your mental body. Okay, coming back now to what's known as a simple quiet mountain position. So let's take a breath in and uh, just exhale slowly. And we'll move into what's known as the breath of joy. So in this world that we're living in now, there's a lot of turmoil, but it's important that we focus on what brings us joy, even the simplest things that bring us joy. So if you can Think of something immediately that brings you joy, then breathe into, breathe that in as we do this experience. Maybe it's um, something such as um, hugging a pet or hugging a grandchild or a child. Just whatever brings you joy, playing music. Just breathe that feel in. So we start with an inhale up and then we sweep the arms out as we continue to inhale and then we bring the arms up overhead as we continue to inhale and then we exhale with a ha. Okay, inhale up, oh, then up, ha, ha, breathe in that joyful feeling, ha, what is it that brings you joy, ha, ha, although it's just a memory that we're breathing in right now, it still helps to change our chemistry a little bit, it still helps to release some of those feel-good uh, neurotransmitters in our brain, the serotonin and the dopamine. Ha! And the melatonin. Ha! Two or three more. Ha! Ha! Last one. And then exhale, just fold forward, rest your elbows on your knees, find a comfortable distance to have your your feet apart, and then just sink the belly between the thighs. Let your shoulders relax. Press into your feet, lengthen up through your hamstring, and once again, we're going to 
uh, stretch through those hamstring muscles. Do some exploration here. So you're, you're moving the stretch through different areas in the hamstrings and keep breathing. Keep pressing into the feet and lengthening up through the sits bones and the tailbone and the hamstrings. We don't want to have straight legs here. It doesn't matter how flexible you are. We want to isolate the stretch in the belly of the hamstring muscles. So keep your knees soft and right now the elbows on the knees. Okay, and then hands on top of the knees, bend the knees, look up and we'll come up again with that nice flat back. Ah, and then close your eyes and press into your feet, reach into your crown. Relax through your shoulders, soften your jaw and dive inside once again to allow the integration to take place. We are so programmed to keep doing, doing, doing. And in this practice, we move from thinking and doing into feeling and being. So just be here right now. Be with the sense of sensation around your body right now. And feel this next soft breath coming in. Fill your body with light. And as you exhale, barely move a feather in front of your nose. Try that one more time. Breathing in, filling yourself with light with the light of your being. And as you exhale, barely disturbing the airspace around you. Okay, and then allow your eyes to slowly open up. And let's move into a simple flow. So lengthening down through your fingers. Inhale, flow the hands out to the sides. And exhale, turn the palms over and reach the arms straight up in the air. Soften the shoulders. Now we're going to hold this for three or four breaths and if you're not able to hold it then lower the arms down and raise them up as you inhale and exhale. Feel everything that you're feeling right now. Pressing into the feet. Now you can very very lightly um, draw the navel toward the spine. That's one way to identify this. Or to draw the pubic bone very lightly toward the sternum. This neutralizes your pelvis. Press into your feet, particularly your the, your heels and reach through your crown. And you're nice and long here, shoulders are soft and you're breathing. Just gaze ahead, take in everything in your full range of, of view here. So we're gazing forward, but our attention is really turned inward to breath and to the holding of the posture. And we'll take one more inhalation here. You're feeling everything that's happening. And then as you exhale, really reach up, and slowly roll the arms back down. And then we can just loosen the body, take a breath, and then exhale through the nose if you're able to. And just settle down here, settle down with another breath. And then lengthen down through your fingers. Let's inhale the arms up to the sides again. And then turn the palms over as you exhale, reach up, stretch. And then the next time you exhale, soften the shoulders and breathe in again. And then lower your right arm down towards your right side and just place it on your, on your right hip. Drift your weight over to your left foot, push into the foot, reach into that upper arm, soften the shoulder though, you're dropping it towards your back pocket. And just press your hip out to the side. So you want to stay long through the short side and really long through the long side. And just do some little explorations here. I mean, it's not how far over we curl. You want to stay lengthened as we lean over to the side and breathe. You want to keep that low back safe and strong. Okay, take another breath in, just doing little explorations here. And now, Imagine I'm grabbing your wrist and I'm inhaling, I'm drawing it straight up toward the ceiling so you lengthen out of the waist. The next time you exhale, lower that hand down, feel the airspace around you. You're remaining conscious and present. Slowly switch the hands. Inhale this arm out to shoulder height. Exhale up and drift your weight over now to the right side. Press into the right foot. Lift up through the right ribs, but stay long through your left side. You can just support yourself with that hand. Do 
Do some simple, simple explorations and breathe into this. Feel. Really be in the experience. The next time you inhale, you're breathing into the places that are stretching. And then slowly as you come back to center, come bring the feet back to center, reach that hand up, and then exhale, flow back down slowly. Now we'll move straight into a complementary movement, so your feet need to be hip width apart. Inhale the arms out front, and just as if you're moving through a swimming pool, sweep the hands around behind your back, and just place them on your back however you're able to, however you're able to there. And then just um, squeeze your buttocks and lift your kneecaps a little bit and press the pelvis forward, lengthen up through the whole front of the body as if you zipped up a big zipper and just pulled your body up with it. Keep your chin tucked and let's breathe here. Nice deep inhalation. Keep those thighs engaged and buttocks engaged to protect the back. Stay lengthen one more breath in and then exhale, push into the feet, lift up. Bend your knees, slide the hands around the front, press the tailbone back, and just come forward in your own way. You can come forward flat back or you can curl yourself down. Rest your elbows on your knees. And once again, press into the feet, lengthen back up through those hamstrings. Keep the knees soft. Let your shoulders melt toward your ears now and let yourself hang over. So this is, all of these movements that we've been doing, it, you know, are movements mainly for people who have healthy enough spines to be able to, uh, for example, take the load that we have happening down here. If you like, you can let your arms dangle down toward the floor, keep the knees soft and the tailbone lifted. Hands back on the knees, bend the knees, look up when you're comfortable and inhale, come on back up to standing. Give the shoulders a roll. Relax them down, press through the feet and lengthen through your crown. Close your eyes here so your feet are grounded. You're lengthened all the way up into that crown. Your thighs are slightly engaged. Your buttocks are slightly engaged. Your pubic bone is slightly lifting towards your sternum. Shoulders are soft and you're breathing. And your eyes are closed. Feel your heart beating. And then we'll take one last breath in. And let's tuck the chin. And we'll slide the hands slowly down the thighs. And bring ourselves down into an easy sitting position, whatever that is for you. And we'll stretch our legs out front here. And you can just support your, your hands behind you if you need to. Bring your, uh, just brush the flesh of your buttocks out of the way so you can feel your sits bones. And take a breath now that you've arrived. And then bring your left leg up and cross it over the right leg, or you can keep it on the same side, whatever works for you. Step your um, left sitting bone back here. And the one that you're gonna, the side you're gonna be twisting, that's the sits bone that wants to be shifted back. Okay, and then just wrap your hand or clasp your, your, your knee wherever it's easy. You can wrap your arm there or clasp your hand there. Press into the sitting bone, reach through the crown, the other hand has come back behind you and just draw your shoulder blade into this a little bit. So there should not be a twist in your low back. It's mainly your mid back to the top of your cervical vertebrae. Close your eyes, bring your attention to your third eye between your eyebrows and just very gently breathe in. And as you inhale, imagine you just lighting up that third eye and as you exhale, your brain relaxes and the air around you is very still as you exhale. Breathing in lightly, lighting the brain. And exhaling, not disturbing the air space. 
Take one more breath in, feel the peace. Peace is always there. We just have to create the conditions to um, release all of the, uh, the blocks that keep us from experiencing that inner peace. And then very slowly inhale your way back to center and we'll switch around to the other side. I'm just going to turn myself around here. You don't have to. And then keep the leg on the foot on the same side as your other knee or you can cross it over, whatever you like. Step the sitting bone back a little bit um, on the side that you're going to be turning toward. And then press into your sits bones, reach into your crown. Hold on to the leg and then inhale, bring the other hand around behind. And when you put the hand on the floor, you want to feel a lift and separation of the vertebrae. So it might be your fingertips, it might be your palm, whatever is there. Bring your shoulder blade into it, bring your head into it, head and neck a little bit more. Sit up nice and straight, your chin is parallel with the floor, it's not dropped down or lifted up. Keep lifted through that crown. So your spine is long here. And now breathe directly into your third eye. And as you exhale, barely disturbing the space around you. Feel or imagine that third eye is lighting up. And now try to maintain this sense of integration, this beautiful sense of peace that you've created. We're moving from back now into a little bit of, of doing. So you're slowly inhale back to center and then with lots of feel, make your way down into a comfortable lying down position on your mat. So you're going to do that. I'm going to be sitting up and guiding you. So take your time, feel everything that's happening along the way. Bring yourself down. Those of you who are familiar with yoga, you know that you can support yourself with some props. <clears throat> and once you have settled in, Bring your attention immediately to your breath. And as you exhale your next breath, relax your shoulders down through your arms into your wrists and hands and fingers, let go. Feel, feel your next simple breath coming in, lighting up your body, and as you exhale, relax all the way down your back, down through your hips and into your legs and into your feet. And the next time you exhale, soften your jaw. So just let that jaw relax. You're still breathing through your nose, but your mouth might, might be open. And now allow your attention to drift up to your third eye. Or you, if you prefer, you could bring your attention to your heart. You can decide. Just keep your attention focused there, breathe in. Imagine that chakra is expanding every time you, you inhale. And as you exhale, it remains expanded. It remains open. Opening the channels 
to the peace of the inner being, the bliss of the inner being. Know that once we settle our minds down, we become the seer, the one who is present. This is our true self, the unchanging, divine, inner being. Loving and peaceful. Always ready to heal and bring balance to our physical world in our mental and emotional worlds. Feel that sense of presence, peace, and balance. And then slowly Just begin to bring your attention back to your next breath. And back to your physical body where you can begin to do a few little movements with your fingers and your wrists and your ankles and your toes. And when you feel ready, bring your arms, sweep your arms back up overhead behind you on the floor and take a full body stretch. So reach those arms up and back, stretch your toes forward, big breath in. And as you exhale, very slowly, curl yourself over to your side, to your right side, and just curl up into a little ball for the last few seconds of our experience here this morning. Dropping back down inside to experience your divine inner being, the loving presence. Let yourself be filled with that presence. And now very slowly take your time. So we're, we want to remain integrated. We're moving from, from being back through feeling into thinking and doing. So take your time as you bring yourself up into an easy sitting position. And once you've settled in, bring your hands into prayer position. And let's conclude our class with a lovely namaste. So imagine all of the people out there all across the country or maybe even around the world that are experiencing yoga with you today. And we just namaste, bowing to the divine within all of us. Namaste, everybody. Thank you, Jody, and namaste to everybody who joined us today. And a very special thank you to you, Jody, for giving your time so generously, and for sharing your practice with us. I know as one who tends to move around quickly, being with you for an hour has brought me already into peace. And uh, it's really a joy to move our bodies so peacefully and with so much love. 
you know, without strain or force. So I really appreciate what you bring to the city, to the world, through your practice. And um, so that was our movement, our peace in motion. Thank you, Jody. Stay with us, everyone. If you're here and you're already feeling peaceful, we're going to move on for an inner power hour with Mara Bazuti. So thank you. And we'll see you next time. Bye, Jody. Bye.